Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Sidelined. I'm joined here by our draft expert, Craven. Uh, we're having a second mock draft for you guys today. Let's hop right into it. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Uh, with the first overall pick, we're going to do something a little different here. The Jacksonville Jaguars this time will take Kayvon Thibodeau, edge out of Oregon. Uh, they just recently franchise tagged Cam Robinson, so they may not take an offensive tackle this time around. Uh, I feel uh, not only is Kayvon Thibodeau the best edge, but I feel like he is the best player best in the player. class. Okay. Uh, pairing him with Josh Allen would just make the defense extremely scary, nearly unblockable. I, I so think that's perfect. Just like a perfect fit to help them out and have him not going number one right here. Yeah. I would like to see him fall uh, later in the draft, but that's okay. Yeah, uh, number yeah. two, we have the Detroit Lions selecting Aiden Hutchinson from Michigan, staying in Michigan. Um, phenomenal player, A and B at the edge position there. Right. Um I honestly think he had one of the better seasons in college football this year. So, obviously, he's going to go number two. You could almost make the argument for him to go number one. Um, I've heard Thibodeau is kind of a very cocky player, and who knows if Jacksonville likes that. Yeah, they, I mean, they had well. Jalen Ramsey, and they didn't like him being how he is, yeah, pers- personality-wise. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, Hutchinson is number two. At number three, the Houston Texans select Evan Neal, offensive tackle out of Alabama. Just a monster of a man. Athletic freak. Reminds me a lot of Tristan Wirfs, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just feel that when they, with them restructuring uh, Larmy Tunsil's contract, putting Evan Neal at right tackle would just be a huge addition to their oh, offensive yeah. line and helping out whoever that starting quarterback could be for them. Uh, Possibly the Davis future. Mills. Maybe somebody else if they sign a vet. Maybe a quarterback we'll in the see. second round. You never know. Who knows? Um, at number four, the New York Jets, Sauce Gardner out of Cincinnati. He is the best corner in the draft, I think, by far. Um, Derek Stingley kind of has some injury issues going on currently, but I think he's a great player. Sauce Gardner or Ahmad Gardner, whatever you want to call him, I think he is just just plays with some sort of like aggression, and I just love the way he plays. He's very physical, and uh, I think this is a perfect fit for – for the Jets, they need a number one alpha corner, and Bryce Hall can really just get better um, playing opposite Absolutely. him. Could so. potentially become one of the best number two corners yeah. in the league. Oh, without Let's a doubt. Like Amon Garner yeah. on the other side. I like it. At number five, we got Akema Kwanu, offensive tackle from NC State, coming to our New York Giants. Perfect pick. If he falls pick. to this pick, he must, need, he must be the pick here. Yeah. Uh, just the, the offensive line for the Giants has just been a mess. For way too long. Almost 10 years, even. Almost 10 years. I want to say. This is the perfect pick for the Giants. If he's on the board and they skip him, I think all Giants fans <laughs> will just cringe <laughs> if they take somebody else. Uh, yeah, Because they have an, a pick and two picks, and Carolina is next, and they are obviously going to take 100% him. 100%. So, there. yeah, uh, that's, just that's awesome. Just at the opposite side of Andrew Thomas mm-hmm. would just be massive for them. Yeah, that'd obviously, be perfect. the only good offensive lineman that was <laughs> playing last year. So <laughs> Yeah. Uh, That's perfect. Just like, and with, including all the free agent signings they've had, just like they need a right tackle. Oh and yeah, Kevin definitely. Would fit perfectly for mm-hmm. that. And uh, I know you said you wanted to mention a few other picks within the the uh, full draft. Um, if you guys want to see the full mock draft, we'll link it in the description down below. But uh, here you go. You have the floor. Uh, I would say uh, a few key ones would be. Garrett Wilson at number eight to the Falcons with uh, Calvin Ridley being suspended mm-hmm. the entire year. They just need a threat on the outside, you know? Oh, yeah, without Lost a doubt. Lost guys in free agency like Russell Gage, so they just desperately need someone on the outside. I feel uh, Garrett Wilson is the best receiver in the class. Just a huge jump ball receiver yeah. out of Ohio State. And uh, just pairing him with guys like Kyle Pitts, most recently that would be signed good. running back Damian Harris. Uh, they mm-hmm. can really help out that... Uh, uh, offense for them and maybe even help out Matt Ryan a little bit more. Yeah. If he uh, stays. Who knows if, if he's going to stay. <laughs> uh, uh, another couple would be probably Trevor Penning at uh, number 10 to the Jets, you know, filling in that right tackle spot. Uh, had a monster uh, senior bowl and a monster yeah, he combine. Did. Just a, basically a bully of an offensive line. I think he's a perfect pick for them. Fit in perfectly for mm-hmm. them at number 10. Uh, just down the board, number seventeen, Jordan Davis to the Chargers. That would be insane. Just make the that defensive would be so line nice. even scarier. Key additions mm-hmm. to the line with Cleo Mack, 
just pairing him with Joey Bosa, Cleo Mack, mm-hmm. and whoever they pair him with on the material, yeah. either Jerry Tillery or Limbaugh Joes if they if they resign him. So that would just make the line near on block. Yeah, I know. That would really help them in the run game because they were the worst in the NFL last year. And Jordan Davis is 340 pounds. So, uh, yeah, best run, by best far run the best stuffer run stuffer in the draft. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that would be huge. Uh, also down the board, uh, I would say tw- at 21, uh, the Patriots selecting uh, Jamison Williams, uh, wide receiver out of Alabama. Wow. Just like... It's another one of those like storyline uh, scenarios, uh, you know, reuniting him with Mac Jones. That would he be was, pretty nice. He was debatably the number one receiver for a while, but you know, after that, yeah, really after scary, that really bad injury, uh, ACL injury in the in a, uh, that was the NCAA championship, right? Championship, yeah, game, yeah. Oh wow. So, uh, you know, I feel like he like even with that ACL injury, he could come back and yeah. just have like a. Uh, just a great career, and if he has Mac Jones throwing the ball, like he's used they to have, that. They have so. some sort of connection already, so it'll definitely help him yeah. quicker as a rookie. And def and definitely with the Patriots needing uh, yeah. just like a big name receiver. To, I mean, they like, spent all that money last year, like, so I feel like that's just like what their key uh, yeah. position away is from them definitely. coming back. You know, <laughs> and then I would say uh, probably uh, number thirty-two, Matt Corral to the uh, Detroit Lions. Maybe sit you know, behind Jared Goff for a little sit, while. We'd probably definitely sit behind Der- Jared Goff for a year. You know, uh, he was just like for me for a very long time. He was the ne- best quarterback in this mm-hmm. class. Uh, but after a pretty uh, scary uh, injury he had in uh, one of the games earlier this year, uh, he has fallen a little bit just with injury concerns. But I feel like that uh, he still has that potential to be the best quarterback that's in this definitely, class. Yeah, that's definitely yeah. Considering that this. Class is weak in yeah. the first place. Yeah, definitely. I feel like he was one of those few uh, guys who actually like have like a big impact for the team mm-hmm. wherever he goes. Oh, so, yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. That's pretty good. And I, kn- I know you wanted to mention um, the Packers as well. They have two picks here now. Yeah, with uh, losing uh, Devontae, Devontae Adams. Adams being traded to Vegas, I have them say, selecting uh, Traylon Traylon Burkus, I believe mm-hmm. his name from uh, Ariz- Arkansas. Arkansas, 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 yeah, not Arizona. Yep. but uh. I just feel like he would fit perfectly for the uh, Packers, you know. Finally getting a receiver in the first round for uh, Aaron Rodgers. Just took them losing one. Just like <laughs> losing the best one in the league. Yeah. Um, Classic. I would just say that, you know, my dream scenario for them would uh, have, like, Drake London follow them. He's just basically, in my opinion, uh, Mike Evans V2. Yeah. Uh, but I just have him going earlier to Washington, just, like, helping their offense mm-hmm. out more. They need that, too. And at uh, their other pick, I have them selecting Nicobe Dean, linebacker out of Georgia. This might sound strange because they just received yeah. Devontae Campbell. But if they were to pair him with Nicobe Dean... That would be that a would really make- good... Linebacking core, wow. It'd be probably the best. In the yeah, league. you after could definitely an, make the argument for that. Off an all, all pro season like yeah. that, and pairing him with Nicobe Dean. Who, Good person to learn from as well. Exactly. And he, I feel like Nicobe Dean's the second best uh, linebacker in the class, but he's the second, also the second best run stuffer behind jo- his uh, former teammate, Jordan Davis. So yeah. just like, not only would they have trouble running the ball, but mm-hmm. they'd have the opposing team would. Uh, barely have any one to throw over the middle with guys like them over uh, in coverage so nice yeah. yeah so that pretty much wraps up this mock draft like i said shout out to craven um his channel will be linked in the description we crave football thank you so much for coming on and making the, the well, mock man. for us um the full mock is in the description down below like i said before um if you guys have any comments let us know down below if you guys didn't like a pick let us know as well um he won't take he won't take it personally it's all right um don't forget to subscribe and ding dong that notification bell to be aware when we make a post so yeah we'll see you guys in the next episode peace out